Hey guys, how's it going? Toby here. Welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel. And today we have got a squad builder that is so, so cheap. It's under 15,000 coins, which I think is excellent. And it is such a competitive team. And I think it's really good for this new patch. I tried to figure out what's going to be best in this new patch. And I think I have found just the team for you guys to try out. Now, if you'd like to get some coins, check the link in the description for the fifashop.co.uk, a fantastic service that is fully automated, so you get your coins instantly on both consoles, and we have a 10% discount code to get you money off every single order if you pop in Toby10 at the checkout, which is really, really cool. But let's have a chat about this team, and it's in the 41212 formation. I'm sorry I keep doing these ones. I think this formation is actually really, really strong. It's genuinely very competitive and it's just got everything you need you've got a center attacking mid to create plays you've got a cdm that is in a great spot that covers up a lot of gaps that your center backs can make and it's just a really good formation for this patch because defending has kind of become a game where you just control your cdm and let the computer do everything for you and this formation it really lends itself to that and if you just control your cdm You've got a really, really strong defensive line that's just going to stay there and, well, the computer's going to do all the work for you. I actually really dislike it. I think it's super boring, but that's how we're going to have to play the game from now on. And it's a bit of a shame to be honest, but I created this team simply to use that. And it's a team based around this new patch and what I think is overpowered on the new patch. Because before, players that were good at dribbling like... Dos Santos, Javier Hernandez, had Vargas, and all the really quick, fairly short, nippy players were incredible. Absolutely brilliant. And the bulky players, like I tried out players in this team before, and I didn't really like them before until this new patch. This new patch has made all the fairly quick physical players absolutely amazing. And this is why... His team is really, really good. This guy left mid, very cheap, medium, medium work rates, four star week for 86 pace, 76 shooting, and 70 passing. Like, he's actually a very, very good left mid. And if you want, you can change his team around a little bit. I didn't because it makes it a little bit more boring. But if you want, you can have cliche and then go into a more BPL defense. It's up to you. But I actually prefer this. Like, Evra is actually a really good left back. Got Diego at center attacking mid. Very, very good and feels a lot faster than 75 pace. Also, his strength feels a lot better than 64 physical does suggest so you'll see in the clips why i say that morales is an excellent right mid really really good 88 pace 77 shooting 77 passing and 83 dribbling very very nice indeed and you might be saying these guys don't have the best physical but your left mid your right mid your central stack mid it doesn't matter too much because they're not going to be the recipients of the over the top three balls which i really dislike doing like if you remember my squad builders from before the patch, it's not that long ago to be fair, but they were they had some fairly nice goals. Like I'd like to think they had some decent goals in. Now it's just the easiest way to score is over the top three balls, and it's so anti-fun. But we have got strikers to take advantage of that. MNEK and Lukaku are the perfect pairing for this new patch because they're strong, they've got great physical. Brilliant shooting, like really, really good shooting, both 80 and they're fast and even better, they're over six foot and finally, they both have high attacking work rates. This is why they are so good. They're always going to be running, always going to be on the end of the over the top three balls, which we all have to admit are pretty, pretty good on this patch, simply because what happens is the defense is automatically tracking back because that's what happens in this new patch. That's all that happens. And the only way to get past it, really, is if you have faster players and then over the top three. Well, it is, it is boring. And I do apologize that I don't have the most amazing goals. Like, I just try and get, like, I really, really try and actively get some really nice goals for you guys. But it just doesn't work anymore. It's literally going out of my way 
to get good goals. Whereas before, I could just do skills and make things happen. It's a big shame. I actually really, really like this game. But let's stop talking about the patch. I've had enough of a little moan. But the team itself, very, very good. The formation is brilliant. It allows you to have some great passing link-ups. There aren't really many gaps for your opponent to get into. So defensively, it's a brilliant formation. I can't actually find any faults with it, if I'm honest. There isn't any trouble with this team that I could find at all. Like your central attack mid gets involved, the two strikers are brilliant, and it really, really does bring out this new patch. And it's just, it's exactly what you need. The 15,000 coins it is amazing. So, so good. Have to give it a solid 10 out of 10. You've got to try this one. If you need a cheap team, if you're starting out, you've just got FIFA this Christmas, you want a team, this is the team to do it with. It is a great team for this new patch, and I would thoroughly, thoroughly recommend it. But I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you have, leave a like and subscribe for some more from myself. But take care, guys. Have an amazing day, and goodbye.